Being called to help out overseas, emergency response nurse Yvonne Gruenau didn't think twice. They were responding to the war in Gaza and uh, the mission was to set up an outpatient clinic and a field hospital. The loss of her daughter leading her to honor her memory and start volunteering in disaster zones. When our daughter died and it, I think most people in that situation, I think after you think about it, you realize we're not guaranteed tomorrow. Her work this time taking her to Gaza in December and January. The greatest need was everything actually. There's no real infrastructure that I witnessed, so people uh, don't have doctors or hospitals or any place to obtain medicine. And working at the International Medical Corps Rafa Field Hospital. Uh, people were lining up as soon as they saw us putting up the tents, and we had patients. The first day we thought, oh, uh, they don't know that we're here yet. Maybe we'll get 50 patients. And in the first day, I think we saw 200. Yvonne providing care for those with wounds from blast and gunshots. Many of the wounds infected due to lack of medical care. Everybody is so grateful, uh, letting it, telling us always, thank you, thank you so much for coming. Uh, we understand that this is dangerous for you, but I always think it's dangerous for you. You live here. She says what made it all worth it giving back and caring for those most in need. It's been full circle almost, and it's hard for me. I love disaster relief. It's hard to say waiting for a next disaster, right? But I'll be there no matter what. Deidre Johnson, KGW News. It says by the end of February, the group had done about 500 surgeries. She says the International Medical Corps also trains people in their own communities to help them be more self-reliant.